guys welcome to or welcome back to my channel today i've got a femme looks haul i haven't shopped with them before but i thought because now that we've all got social lives again i can go to the pub a lot of people are going out for some cheeky drinks with their friends partners so i thought what better time than to do a post lockdown lookbook on outfits that you can wear for drinks as always this is going to be a brutally honest review on femme looks i've heard mixed reviews so i'm not going to sugarcoat anything if you do like the sound of that please do not forget to like comment and subscribe if you enjoy and let's get straight into it first dress um it has naked fat people on and i didn't even realize yeah there's like full-on nudity on this i'm not gonna lie it's not a vibe but i just didn't realize um but i love the colors of it actually it's like very different and this is how it's advertised so just want to quickly say the model has very big boobies and i don't which i found a bit difficult when trying to picture it on myself i think it would also be really useful if they had a second picture with the model from the itty bitty titty committee but they didn't so so this is the full dress it goes down to here it's an absolute no because the fabric stops here, which is approximately halfway down my bum cheeks. But if you want your bum cheeks to be on show, buy this dress. This is more something I'd expect someone petite to wear. Like, it's so short, it's ridiculous. And it's a shame because they've got this part here so you can kind of do this bit higher if you want to. Like, obviously, because it's already too short, I can't really do that too much. So the next one is actually a play suit and this is what it looked like on the model. This was crazy cheap, so I think it was like seven pounds or something ridiculous. So I didn't really have much hope for this and it actually has ended up being a lot better than I expected it to be. Like it's not very me, but I think if it was a bit more tailored, like maybe if it went in at the waist here, then look at that, now I like it. But I think that's gonna be a theme with a lot of their clothes. They don't feel tailored, they're just quite straight down. But if you added like a belt or something, it could work. But yeah, the sleeves are absolutely gorgeous. I love them. So as you can see, they just kind of have this silk material and then this mesh. And then you've got the cute keyhole detail as well. And yeah, I am actually quite impressed considering the price of this. That was some chunky black or red heels. Not bad. Maybe a red lip too, but yeah, not too bad. And it just zips up at the back as well. Don't mind me, just thought I'd get more in the vibe, you know, really feel the atmosphere. With my black currant squash that's been aged by a week. Too fancy. As soon as I saw this one on the website, I was like, yep, yeah, gotta get that now, that is so me. I love polka dots, I think they're amazing, they're so flattering, so sophisticated, and I love a puffy sleeve too. So this is what it looked like on the model. I think she looks ten times better in literally everything so far compared to me. Um, this one isn't the worst. I feel like a lot of you guys might think I'm being picky, but I just personally like it to be so tailored. I'd say this bit is fine. I'm from the side is actually fine as well, but it's it's like really tight around here and then really loose on the top. So I feel like there's just not that much consistent. Ooh, 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 that off the shoulder. Now I feel Spanish. I think I prefer it off the shoulder, but it's too loose to wear off the shoulder. Um, but yeah, it's got a kind of button thing, which I find really cute. But like I said, again, she had big boobs. So I feel like just everything looked completely different on her. Um, but yeah, I really don't find this bad at all. This is something that I'd recommend buying if you don't have bigger thighs because it does really catch around this area, unfortunately. But yeah, not too bad. So this next one, this is what it looked like on the model. As I said, I don't want them all to be girly because my personal style is not even that girly. So this one is so cool. So it's kind of like a tie dress. As you can see, this is a blue denim wash on this one. It's got some kind of distressed ripping here, which is really cool. And then it immediately goes to black on the arms as well. I do love the contrast. And it's a button down and you've also got this drawstring to just tie it and make it how you want to. You need cycling shorts if you're gonna wear this or just something underneath because it kind of has a gap down here. The buttons stop here, stupidly, and then you've got this whole gap, so when you open your legs or anything, pants on show immediately. I don't get why brands do this, it's a bit silly, but yeah, just put some cycling shorts on and it solves the problem. I also like how here it goes up and back down, because it means that you're not going to flash your bum, but you can kind of have that cheeky high leg detail. But I could totally see myself wearing this with some black lace-up heels or something. It's just a little bit different for those that aren't really into the glitzy, glamour type of outfits for drinks. And it's very comfortable too, so I love this one. So obviously we have to do a kind of jeans and a nice top vibe, but this is actually a bodysuit. Um, this is what it looked like on her. This bodysuit is actually really nice. Like I think the material's really good quality. It's got an extra layer of fabric that goes up to here, so you're not gonna have any nippleage or anything like that. Um, the back's just a normal standard bodysuit style, and I love the fabric of it. And the color's really nice too, actually, so it's kind of like a rusty, orangey red colour and then these are the jeans because I know that this style of jeans are really in at the moment and I have to say I'm loving them especially with the tattoo I feel like it's just really edgy and they just go down as like a straight jean as well 
Um, I think they go really nicely with the bodysuit, actually. This is probably one of my favourite outfits. I'd say size up in their bottoms if you are between sizes, or if you aren't, just go with your normal size. Just because when you look at their size guide, it does come up quite small. So yeah, these are really nice. I love the colour as well. <laughs> So I don't want to waste a stickiness of nipple covers for the sake of one outfit to put on and off. So obviously they wouldn't look like this. I needed to censor it somehow because you will need nipple covers with this. But this is a bodysuit again. This is what it looked like on the beautiful model. I do actually really like this one. I love the colour of it. I feel like it really suits me. So I definitely need to get some more light pink numbers because I live in black. This is my favourite part of it though, I must admit. So this is a skirt. So these are just shorts like that and then you have the flap over the top. And then this is the back. The back is a bit cheeky, so you have got shorts, but they don't go very low down, so you do have to be careful. But I might actually keep this because it fits like an absolute dream. It's, it cinches you in. It just is amazing. I absolutely love it. I have nothing bad to say about it. And I don't think it was that expensive. This is what it looks like on the model as well. I feel like it just looks really similar. It's so comfortable. Don't need a belt or anything. I'm going to do this now with a black bodysuit, and I feel like together it's just going to be a vibe. Cheers. Shall I shot it? Let's shut it. One, two, three. Oh my god, it burns. This outfit is so extra, but I feel like a lot of people would vibe with it, especially people I've seen on my Instagram would love something like this. So this is what it looked like on the model. And it's just, this part is a bodysuit. I'm gonna be completely honest though. It was a pain to get on because it's quite a tight material. And these bits are scratching the living daylight out of my skin. So it's really not comfortable, this part isn't at all. It's that really horrible rough fabric that no one wants on their body. So that's a shame, if it was softer it would be fine. And now this is on, it's not too tight. As I said, I wanted to pair it with this and it has not disappointed. I feel like having the two parts going out, it really does accentuate an hourglass figure. And yeah, I just love it. I'd love to wear this as a whole outfit, it's so cute. But yeah, I'm really impressed with both pieces apart from the itchy fabric, which is a shame. So for my girls that aren't really feeling black at the moment, they also have it in white. I'm having to do this because it's a bit see-through and I can't be bothered to take it off to put a bra on. So just keep that in mind. Maybe wear nipple covers or you could wear a bra, obviously. The white one's really nice as well. And I'll double check if they have this in white too, because obviously then you could wear it as a whole cord. But yeah, really cute. Obviously the same problem with the itchy fabric, but if you can deal with that. No problem. So this one is another outfit for my girls that aren't really that girly. or kind of want the baddie vibes. So I'm not sure why I got this in a 10. Maybe they only had a 10 left. But I don't really like it because this belt is not staying tight. It just keeps coming loose. So that's really annoying. And obviously it's quite an integral part of the outfit because you need to get shape from somewhere. But if that was alright then it would look really cute actually. So it's got this lime green thread lining. And to do it up you just zip it down here. Very easy to put on. I think it might come up a bit tight because this feels... So the bottom fits fine, but the top is a bit big, but like I said, I did go up a size. I'm just not in love with it, it just feels a bit bulky up here, but if I got an eight, I think the bottom would be too small. If you guys do like the look of it, I do recommend getting it. So now we're onto the final outfit, which is actually my least favorite. The two don't go together, and I didn't buy them to go together, I just bought them and realized they didn't really go with anything else, so I've had to do it. This is a top, on me it's a flop. Oh my God, I'm a poet. This is very in at the moment, and I do like the vibe of it, but this top is absolutely massive. It's got no shape to it whatsoever, so size down if you're gonna get a top like this. And the back is just like that as well. Um, just not feeding it personally and I've tightened this but it doesn't actually do anything so it would have been nice if it would cinch me in a bit more and then this is the skirt that I've paired it with so it's literally just a long flowy skirt and I do actually really like the skirt I have nothing bad to say about it it's not see-through or anything it's actually really nice on its own so I might keep that actually to be fair it's probably too low-waisted for me but I've got a bit of slit detailing at the very bottom if you can see there um, but yeah together I don't think they'll work personally I don't know why I feel like it's just too low but the skirt on its own is fine but yeah thank you guys so much for watching my video today if you did enjoy it please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and click the bell so you're notified every single time i post and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys